Carmen writes, question, I'm 55 now and I've been single for three years now and I have no idea what I want in a man. Thank you for sharing that. Well, here's what happens when people don't know what they want. They typically, what's the definition of insanity? Hmm, let me think. If I do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, and I expect different results, hmm, how's that going to work for me? In fact, as Dr. Phil would say to you, Carmen, how's that working for you? I invite you to find out what you want. And if you need help with that, I highly recommend reading the book, Are You the One for Me? Are You the One for Me by Barbara DeAngelis. This is a great book to help you figure out who and what you want. Definitely recommend reading that. Folks, relationships, here, I pulled out, relationships are like a puzzle, okay? Here's a puzzle, 500-piece puzzle. The problem is when a person comes in with their 350 pieces and you come with your 350 pieces, how are you going to make a 150-piece puzzle with 700 pieces? It's going to require actually being compromising, having to give up some things. That's, what, that's how relationships work because 350 pieces and 350 pieces, you can't make a 700-piece puzzle when the puzzle is a 500-piece puzzle. And you have to decide to do it together. That's why relationships are called co-creative, co-creative. This is why a great book to read by Gary Zukoff is called Spiritual Partnership, when you can understand how to create, co-create a relationship together. And by the way, you ladies are just following the, the stupid, the book, the rules, the rules. Men are supposed to be chivalrous and men are supposed to claim you and men are the leaders of relationship because men are supposed to lead because if we take on any responsibility in the relationship, their penis is going to shrivel up into because they're intimidated, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, really? This is such stupid narrative. Let me tell you something, ladies. Men are terrible leaders at a relationship. They're terrible leaders, partially because they don't do any studying of what it takes to be in a healthy, happy relationship. So the minute you give, you expect the man to be the leader of the relationship, you're giving your power away to another human being. That's not going to work in the long run. Is this making sense? And by the way, why is the number one search term? Why do men ghost? Why do men disappear? Why are men passive when they come on strong? And you want these people to be the leaders of your relationship? To me, that's the definition of insanity. Relationships should be co-creative, done together. Is this making sense? Is this resonating? Are you getting this? I hope so. All right. 